Okay, so in this video segment, we're going to cover the squad roster sheets. And you'll notice that I actually have two sheets laid out, and that's because there are multiple different types that come with the game. There is just your basic generic blank sheet in which you can create your own company and have your special rules. Basically, do it however you want to do it. You see everything's left blank here and your core and your support units. So this one you can just do as you please, but there are some included special companies like this one, the 51st company that has their own little historical blurb and their own special company traits that they can use. But you see it's already filled in here in the core and the support units on what units they have. So that's just the, the basic difference between the two, but they will operate pretty much the same when you are playing your campaign. Now, unlike in a standard game, you do have to keep track of the fact that your units can be injured, they can be killed, what their general status is going to be, and that's the basic gist of what this unit or what this sheet provides you, and the fact that your units can gain experience points that they can use to level up their skills, they can use them to gain extra traits as well. Now, just like with your campaign sheet, I obviously would suggest making a scan copy of these because you will be writing on them a lot as you progress through your campaign. For example, with your units in between their missions, you're going to have to keep track of their status, which could be anything from ready, which means they can go or they're active on a mission or if they're recovering or even if they have been killed. That's what you're going to keep track of where it says status located here. Directly underneath that, you see where it says trait, and that's where these come into play. Each one of these traits can be assigned once to one unit. So it's a one-off. You do have to mark which ones you have used already, but you can effectively buy these for three experience points, and they will give your units extra abilities like the plus one to their AP for fire, or make it to where they cause two wounds instead of one in melee, special things like that. And like I said, the special companies can have special traits that they can have assigned to their units. One of the differences though between a campaign and a standard game is when it comes to your units in a standard game, you can just buy the, the upgraded, the veteran version of a unit and it doesn't work that way in this type of gameplay. They have to level up to that. So a unit can start off as just a standard line unit and then level up to a veteran unit and you'll keep track of their cost. But the good part in a campaign game is their cost does not go up. So if a unit costs 20 points per se as a line unit and they level up to a veteran unit, they're still going to cost 20 points in your campaign game. Obviously you do have vehicles included for your campaign as well. You see they're located down here at the bottom and their status can be ready or destroyed because your vehicles can be destroyed. And one other thing that I had mentioned in the campaign sheet was the reinforcement points. And you see those located down here in the bottom right. And it says green recruit or line recruit. Got them located on both of these sheets. Now you'll start with one point of each. And what that basically means is you're going to lose troops as you progress through your missions. So some of their statuses will be changed to killed. You can spend these points for either a green or a line unit to change their status from killed to ready. But keep in mind that green recruits do impact a negative penalty for their AP checks when they're progressing through the mission. Also, when it comes to those reinforcements, like I said in the campaign sheet, these strat ops or uh, strategic, ah, strategic ops cards do sometimes grant you bonus line recruit or green recruit points. And you will draw two of these cards before you go on a mission. And the thing is, these points that they give you don't accumulate on your sheet. You have to spend these when you draw the card or you lose them. Now, there are some cards in some ways in which you'll get reinforcement points that you can keep. And like I said, you start with one of each in these boxes, but the cards that you draw do not stick. So you either spend them as you draw them or you lose them.